Well, this is going to show how easy it is to figure a grade with a level. Typically, on any kind of concrete or patio, porch, anything like that, you want at least a one inch drop every 10 foot. That's kind of the standard. Anything above that will just be a little extra drainage, but with a one inch per 10 foot drop, it almost appears to be level, but it's enough of a grade that the water runs off of it, flows off of it. So we've got this divided out here roughly in, in 10 foot sections. Pull the level out, turn it on, double check, make sure we're reading fairly close to zero. Actually, we're probably already on a little bit of a grade there. All right, we're within a tenth. The level will typically vary about a tenth. The accuracy is plus or minus a tenth of an inch. Uh, a tenth of an inch is so small in most cases, you're not gonna notice that anyway. And what we'll do is walk out every 10 foot, we should drop an inch or more if we've got the right pitch. Our first 10 foot here is gonna show us to be probably considerably more than that. Yeah, we're gonna be over two inches here. So this is dropping two times what we actually need to. But it's that easy to figure the pitch at 10 foot, at 20 foot, we'll drop on out. And we're gonna show approximately, better in the shade or the sun, Sasha? Either one's Either fine. Either one? Yeah. Okay, we're showing five, almost six inches drop there. And we come on back here. See how quickly the level levels out and there's no figuring in this you don't have to worry about whether you're going up or down with a surveyor's rod you're actually increasing the height as you're decreasing uh, the fall or the pitch your your rod will be longer the farther out for your drop to be lower which is can be very confusing at times especially if you're going back and forth with this if it shows minus 7.3 inches you're seven inches lower if it shows a positive reading then you're higher and once again if you want to figure the pitch in front of an obstacle like this truck all the way over and under this vehicle. This would be impossible to do with a laser because you blocked your clear line of sight. But all you have to do is just underneath. We can actually throw this from here to one side or the other. And this is a very durable piece of equipment. It doesn't hurt it. It's not, you're not gonna break it. You can just slide her across to the other side. Now probably most of the distributors aren't gonna recommend you doing this, but it's done all the time. And you can see we actually came back up the slope here. I was just more or less demonstrating how durable the equipment is and the fact that you can actually, you don't have to baby this equipment, it's tough.